What's up, YouTube? How's it going? Um, I'm sitting here, not at the gym, and I kind of feel a little bit lame. <laughs> I'll be real. Um, I just sat down, started watching a movie, and realized, no, I don't want to. I want to go to the gym. So, since I'm feeling a little lame about not doing that, I decided I'd go ahead and make a video and do something I actually enjoy. Oh. That's my new video editor and slideshow maker, uh, confirming its installation. So, we're gonna try that out. Hopefully that'll look- make this video look really good. Um, another reason I'm so happy, the reason I decided to stay home, uh, and said, you know, I should go to the gym. Nah. Is because I bought chips! And cheese! And salsa! And so now I'm able to make myself some nachos. So, things are going really well here. Um, I also got a haircut today. Feeling pretty good about myself. Honestly, it's a little boxy, I think, maybe. I'm not so sure, but I really like the guy who um, cuts my hair, and within a week or two after getting a haircut from him, I usually love my haircut. I don't know if I get used to it or it just grows out looking really good because he just knows hair. Guy's been doing it for decades, so I trust him. Um, anyway, what else? Oh, right, things. So, about three weeks ago now, I went to North Korea. Wow, no I didn't. That's a lie. I lied to you. I went to South Korea. I went to Seoul. And I had a blast. Uh, I went with my friend Sarah. And we really just toured around, just looking around the city, and ate a lot of food. And the food in South Korea, oh, spectacular. So good. It was a nice reprieve to get away from Miyazaki, where the food is really good, but it's mostly Japanese food, just over and over and over. And get back to, oh, what do you want? Ah, I don't know, tonight, let's go look for Mexican food. Oh, let's try... Uh, some South Korean barbecue. Uh, let's try some just regular barbecue. We were really just, the options were just so much greater. And I guess that's not necessarily fair. I mean, I'm in a tiny, tiny town in Japan, and Seoul is not. So, with that being said, highly recommend Seoul. Uh, it was a beautiful city, really fun. Oh, and the people are gorgeous. Everyone, just drop-dead gorgeous. I've heard something about widespread plastic surgery that makes everyone look beautiful, but oh my god. Unbelievable. I didn't really, I know, I heard about it, but I didn't really see it coming. <sighs> yeah, it was a good time. Overall, highly recommend Seoul. Oh, and as a bonus, if you're in Miyazaki, or just someplace in Japan, the flight is an hour and a half and a hundred thirty dollars round trip. So, I had to do it. Um... Before I continue, I guess I should probably show you some pictures and videos of that. I decided to take some while I was there, so... Here you are.
Doesn't that look beautiful? Doesn't that food look ridiculous? Oh, and it was good. It was all amazing. There, everything you I bit into, it was just, oh God, I want to go back. I do, and it, since it's so easy to go back, I might just pull the trigger and do it before I uh, leave to go back home. On a more serious note, I've been thinking about going back home. In fact, last night I had a dream where I had returned to the States and was hanging out with my friends. On one hand, I was having a good time. I really enjoyed being back in the States and meeting up with people that I hadn't seen in a while. But if I'm being honest, there's a lot of times where I kind of regret my decision to leave. Um, I know it's more, uh, it's kind of a taking the easy way out kind of thing. Staying in Miyazaki would be awesome. It'd be fun and I would enjoy myself. I would love staying here. But I realize that if I stay here, I'm postponing uh, productivity for pleasure. And I really think as much as I'd love to do that, obviously, I really think I should try to get something started. So I have to keep convincing myself that I made the right call. Sometimes that's hard. Um, but when I kind of talk about it out loud, I start feeling a little better about it. So thanks for humoring me. Moving on, other things. So right now it's the beginning of April and this year, surprisingly, the sakura blossoms, the cherry blossoms that bloom every year in spring came late. Usually they come at the end of March and as I've been told by other Japanese people, by now they're gone. But now they're in full bloom and it's beautiful. Everywhere I turn, there's literally just there's cherry trees and the cherry blossom trees and the blooms are falling and blowing in the wind and it's like something out of a fairy tale. It's ridiculous and it's beautiful. Um, I went to a Hanami, which is a flower festival, a sakura blossom festival in a place called Saito. And I took some pictures there and it was so pretty. I figured I'd have to show you guys some of those. So. So that was wonderful. That was absolutely spectacular. And just hanging out and eating food and drinking beer, you can do that in public here in Japan. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. In Japan, there's no open container law, so you can drink in public. So hanging out, enjoying the beautiful weather while sakura blossoms just fall on your head and rain down on you while you're sipping a beer and eating delicious food. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that was an experience that I will never forget. And that's kind of the reason why I came to Japan. I think it's good that I can kind of put these things in perspective and say and rationalize my decision to come to Japan in the first place. Like, I wanted to go and experience just awesomeness and splendor and a whole other part of the world. And everything I've seen here has just been a kind of just like a mind blown moment where I get to see these awesome things that I would never see in my lifetime if I hadn't come. So I'm not regretting my decision to come here. I'm loving everything that's going on. I just want to see more. I wish I had more time to go out and see Thailand and also maybe pop over to China and go hike Mount Fuji. But I feel like only a couple of those things are going to transpire given my limited time. I realized the other day that I have about four months and <laughs> while that may seem like a long time, 
I've been planning this whole Japan adventure for so long and thinking about it, just trying to make it happen for so long that like now that it's almost come to a conclusion, it's really surreal for me. Just one of those things that I can't help but fixate on. So that's what's really going through my mind right now. In other news, I met this awesome girl, woman. I met this awesome woman and things are going great. We were having we're having a good time. We're going on lots of dates. The sakura blossoms are out and it's just like the perfect atmosphere for romance. And she's leaving and she's leaving, I think on Thursday and today's Monday night. So <laughs> she's leaving to literally the other side of Japan, um, a little bit, uh, what was it? South east of Tokyo. So <laughs> that's not going to go any further, more likely than not. And I'm a little heartbroken and disappointed about that um, because she's so cool and such an impressive person and things were going really well. So that's unfortunate, um, but better to have loved and to have lost. Blah, blah, blah. I think that about wraps it up for me. Uh, I know it's been a quick video and I've only shown a couple of things, but I don't know. I kind of just feel like I need more things to happen in a quick amount of time. So hopefully things keep uh, transpiring and you get to see more cool things. Before I go, I forgot. I actually uh, went out on a bike ride the other day. And while I was out, I biked for maybe five or six hours. While I was out, I took a lot of pictures, and I figure at least some of them will be good enough to show you, so I'll close this video out by giving you a couple of those pictures uh, to view for yourself, just to kind of see the world that I'm living in and the city that surrounds me. So, I hope you enjoy those, have a great rest of your week, and take care.